Jim, who's always there every single day, no matter what time you decide to pencil in your weekly run. We may even poke fun at him. Does he ever do anything else with his life? But what we probably weren't aware of is just how much time and energy he puts into getting to that great size. Like many huge lifters, it's a little bit more than an odd protein shake and lettuce leaf in order to build up such mass. And we've put together a list of 10 of the greatest bodybuilders who have done just that. These bodybuilders likely don't have time to sit around watching YouTube videos because they're so engrossed in lifting. This isn't a bad thing, but they're definitely missing out. Before we start, click subscribe to the hub to make sure you're not missing out too. Ruli Winkler In comparison to a lot of bodybuilders, Ruli Winkler hasn't focused on one particular body part and has built up all of them to an impressive strength. Hailing from the Caribbean island of Curacao, he's one of the more softly spoken builders, but this only works to impress us more with his achievements. Although he'd already been competing for a good few years, he rose to prominence in 2009 when he won the IFBB Arnold Amateur Championships. After that, he returned to compete again in 2010 and continued to amaze the world with his impressive bulk and shredding ability. At only 5 feet and 6 inches, he weighs a notable 286 pounds. Ruli has competed all over the world and has placed more times than he could count on both hands. Some of his wins include the 2010 New York Pro Bodybuilding and Bikini Championship, the IFBB Wings of Strength Chicago Pro, and more recently, both the 2012 and 2014 Nordic Pro. He hasn't placed quite as well over the last few years, but he still had a fair few high achievements. Ruli came 7th in the 2015 Mr. Olympia competition and took home a pretty impressive $25,000. The talented bodybuilder has been rising from strength to strength as the years have progressed, and many are in awe of his huge muscles. Kai Green His real name is Leslie, but in the professional world, you'll probably have heard of him as Kai Green. He's 5 feet and 8 inches tall, and can weigh up to 305 pounds off-season, and anything between 250 and 280 pounds on-season. But that mass isn't made up of fat, but instead an incredibly toned body. You'll likely know of Kai from the 2016 Arnold Classic, which he won. This was a particular victory for the bodybuilder, who had placed second in the 2012, 2013, and 2014 competitions. He definitely deserved it by this point, we think. Kai's bodybuilding history was cemented during 7th grade. Brought up in a care home, he often got into trouble at school and was enrolled in teenage bodybuilding competitions as a result. Little did his teachers know this would be the start of an impressive career path. However, it hasn't been a smooth journey for this bodybuilder. Between the years of 1999 and 2004, he took a break from bodybuilding under the impression that he wasn't half as good as he actually was. Luckily, he returned. And now? When he's not bodybuilding, Kai has turned to acting. He had a documentary made about his preparation for 2009's Mr. Olympia, and he's also featured in the 2013 film Generation Iron. Morgan asked, at 6 feet and 3 inches tall, most other bodybuilders automatically look tiny next to Morgan Ast, no matter what muscles they're flexing. His nickname is The Big Rock, which we imagine has something to do with both his height and also his amazing lifting capabilities. Along with this great height is great mass, and Morgan weighs in around 297 pounds in season or 352 pounds off season. Before getting into lifting, Morgan first enjoyed handball, soccer, Muay Thai, and boxing. It was then when he realized his strength far surpassed other boys his age. After being constantly asked if he lifted weights, he decided at age 16 he would start and see where it could take him. The French superweight hero is different to many bodybuilders because this isn't his only talent. Nope, as well as building up his muscles, Morgan also competes in strongman competitions. Somehow, he excelled at this too, and went on to win the French record for the notoriously difficult standing log press. He lifted a 375 pound log and a 375 pound atlas stone and is now officially the strongest man in France. Throughout his 20s, Morgan competed at both sports, but at the age of 31, he decided he would rather focus on bodybuilding, so that's where we're seeing him shine for the time being. Arnold Schwarzenegger no bodybuilding list would be complete without the legend that is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Not only has he won world champions more times than we could detail in this list, but he also worked as an actor, producer, investor, and author, amongst other things. Arnold started his bodybuilding career at the age of 15 when he decided to start training up his muscles. By the age of 20, he had won Mr. Universe. Not yet satisfied, he went on to win the Mr. Olympia contest seven times. Yep, you heard that right. When he wasn't busy breaking world records, he was writing about them. Arnold wrote a monthly column for bodybuilding magazines Flex 
and Muscle and Fitness. After he was elected as governor in California, he was also made editor of both the magazines. His prominence in the industry is clear, and in case you hadn't guessed, the Arnold Classic bodybuilding competition was even named after him. Now, how many bodybuilders can say that? Aside from bodybuilding, Arnold has competed in powerlifting. This was back in the day, and in 1964 and 1965, he won two weightlifting competitions too. Some of his most impressive stats include a 264-pound clean and press, a 545-pound squat, and a 710-pound deadlift. Dennis James He's jokingly referred to as Dennis the Menace, but there's nothing particularly scary about Dennis James. However, the size of him could get you to think differently. This German bodybuilder is 5 feet and 8 inches tall and weighs in around 258 pounds. He's not the tallest, but boy does he make up for it in strength. A fun fact about Dennis, nobody is really sure how old he is. He's thought to have lied about his age in the past, but no one except his family is truly certain. Compared to a lot of other bodybuilders on our list, Dennis started his lifting career pretty late. It was only at the age of 26 when he realized he wanted to pursue his lifting as a career. But better late than never, right? He first won the International South German Championship in 1985 and then the German Grand Prix in 1986. He later won the junior category of the 1986 New York State Championships too. Unfortunately, it was here where Dennis found a problem. Although he was born in Germany, he did not hold German citizenship. This meant he was not eligible to compete in the German nationals. Instead, he later left Germany and went on to compete in the USA, where he won a variety of Arnold Classics and Mr. Olympias. Noah Steer If there's one guy on this list that you probably haven't heard of, it's Noah Steer. At 6 feet and 6 inches, he's pretty difficult to miss in person, but with no website and rumors of no computer, his internet presence is pretty small. You'd expect his weight to be a bit heavier than most to match his height, but even we were shocked to hear he can weigh around 330 pounds off-season. When he's training, he cuts it down to around 300 pounds, still far more than most. Before he got into lifting, Noah joined the National Guard and then the Army. He was deployed to the Gulf War and served 10 years in total. Eventually, he worked his way up to the sergeant level. Noah is based in North Carolina and runs a supplement store when he's not lifting. Those who have met him in person report him being very friendly and offering tips to any wannabe lifters. A big friendly giant, if you will. The only time you'll likely see Noah in person, aside from at his store, is when he's competing. With 25-inch biceps, he's big competition in more ways than one for other bodybuilders out there. Kevin Lavroni If you were thinking our previous bodybuilders had racked up impressive statistics, wait until we tell you about Kevin Lavroni. To date, he's competed in 68 IFBB professional competitions. Out of these, he's won 23 of them. His nickname is the Maryland Muscle Machine and he's proved that he's almost invincible in more ways than one. For starters, even at the age of 51, he's still competing. Kevin officially retired back in 2003, but in 2016 announced just before the Mr. Olympia contest that he would continue training for a while yet. He began professionally bodybuilding in 1991 and went on to compete in a variety of contests. Unfortunately, Kevin had to take a break in 1992. During the 1992 Mr. Olympia, he tried to bench press 600 pounds. This did not go according to plan at all. Kevin tore his major and minor pectorals and ended up having surgery to reattach them. Ouch. However, this didn't hold him back and the bodybuilder went on to compete in 13 Mr. Olympias and many other competitions around the USA. You'll notice we said competed rather than won. Kevin earned the nickname the uncrowned king of Mr. Olympia for never once actually winning first place. Ronnie Coleman after winning the Mr. Olympia contest eight times in a row, Ronnie Coleman undoubtedly deserves the title as one of the top bodybuilders in our generation. Alongside Mr. Olympias, he also holds the record for the most IFBB professional wins with a staggering 26 under his belt. It may seem unlikely, but Ronnie's background was about as far from weightlifting as you could imagine. In 1984, he graduated with a BSc in accounting and then went on to serve as a police officer from 1989 until 2003. It was one of his friends in the police force who suggested Ronnie should take up lifting. Brian Dobson, an amateur local bodybuilder who owned the nearest gym, offered Ronnie free access to the gym if he would train for the upcoming Mr. Texas competition that year. Of course, Ronnie took Brian up on the offer and went on to win both the heavyweight category and the overall category. Like all bodybuilders, Ronnie's weight depends on whether or not he's training. 
His competition weight is 300 pounds, and his offseason is only a stone or so more at 314 pounds. At 5 feet and 11 inches tall, he's able to carry the weight proportionally, although a big chunk of it must be supporting his 22-inch biceps. Dennis Wolf Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? It's bodybuilder Dennis Wolf's nickname, but despite his huge bulk, he's thought to be a pretty friendly guy. He originates from Kyrgyzstan and was born to a German family before moving to Russia when he grew older. In 1992, he moved to Germany. It was here when he decided to take up martial arts for a hobby. Then he developed a love for bodybuilding, which brings us to now. Dennis has built up some elements of his body to a hugely impressive standard. He's most known for his small waist and big outer quad sweep, but the rest of his muscles are pretty well developed too. He's competed at both amateur and professional level for many years and has more titles than we could possibly reel off. Most recently, Dennis placed fourth at the 2015 EVL's Prague Pro Contest. He's placed in many Mr. Olympias and has taken home fourth place in 2014 and 2015 and third place in 2013. In 2016, Dennis complained of a bad back, but he couldn't pinpoint the pain. After a few scans, he revealed he had numerous fragments of spine that had broken off. He was forced to stop competing for a while in order to let his back recover. However, he's now on the mend and is back to training, so hopefully we'll see Dennis competing again soon. Nasser El Sunbati He had an educational background in history, political science, and sociology, so it's almost as much of a surprise to us as it is to you that Nasser El Sunbati ended up in bodybuilding. He grew up in Stuttgart, Germany, and started growing his muscles in 1983. In his first competition, he placed six, which inspired him to keep going and keep competing, so that one day he could be the best of the best. That first competition was the Junior State Championship in Germany, but El Sunbati went on to compete all over Europe, including in Finland, Holland, and the Czech Republic. He also entered nine Mr. Olympia competitions out of the 10 that he qualified for. His nickname was The Professor because he could speak a few different languages and he always wore little round glasses. He's made it to more than 60 bodybuilding magazine covers and was well regarded in the industry for being one of the best. At 5 feet and 11 inches, El Sunbati weighed around 270 to 290 pounds during competition season and between 310 and 330 pounds off season. Unfortunately, this bodybuilder wasn't one of the natural ones. He was thought to be using steroids to achieve his great stats. At only 47 years old, he was diagnosed with congestive heart failure and kidney damage. Sadly, he didn't qualify for a transplant and didn't last much longer after he broke the news to his family. This video has sure inspired us to start working out again, and we're sure it's done the same to you. As long as you don't take it too far and end up looking like this guy, it can only be a good thing. We hope you enjoyed this video, and make sure to subscribe to The Hub for more great videos. Thanks!